Hi, I'm Justin Kay, Field Specialist in Horticulture with MU Extension. I'm here today to share some information with you on short season summer cover crops that might be of interest for use on your farm. Following harvest of early season crops, bare fallow periods can contribute to erosion issues during heavy rainfall, as well as weed establishment and seed set. In addition, there can be nutrient leaching problems that can contribute to environmental issues such as nutrient runoff and nutrient pollution in our bodies of water. In this period, summer cover crops can help retain soils in heavy rains, as well as provide shade to reduce weed seed germination. In addition, through competition, these summer cover crops can help reduce weed seed set and helping to reduce the weed seed load in following crops. These types of cover crops can also help build soil organic matter levels and improve soil tilth and friability. Legume cover crops are also capable of fixing atmospheric nitrogen for future cash crops. One cover crop of interest is buckwheat. It's an annual broadleaf that has very rapid emergence and canopy closure. It's known as an excellent smother crop and can contribute great to weed suppression and weed control. Buckwheat is also great at scavenging phosphorus and helping build phosphorus levels and soils for future cash crops. The abundant fine roots of this cover crop help condition the soil and improve soil friability. The blooms of buckwheat cover crops also are very capable of attracting beneficial insects, such as parasitic wasps and hoverflies. This cover crop has a short maturity period of 70 to 90 days, but it's important to terminate before seed set as this could become a weed in the following crop. It's drilled at 50 to 70 pounds per acre and broadcast at 50 to 90 pounds per acre. Cowpea is a summer annual legume of interest for filling the spare fallow period, which also has very rapid growth and canopy closure. In addition, it's very tolerant of drought and heat and capable of fixing a large amount of atmospheric nitrogen at 100 to 150 pounds per acre. This cover crop works well on many different soil types and just like buckwheat, the blooms as well as the extra floral nectaries are very capable of attracting beneficial insects such as parasitic wasps and hoverflies. This cover crop reaches peak biomass in 60 days, but it's important to purchase the appropriate inoculant for this cover crop, as this is gonna be a different inoculant than you would use for say on a clover species. For maximum nitrogen contribution to the following cash crop, it's important to incorporate this into the soil while it's still green. It can be drilled at 30 to 90 pounds per acre and broadcast at 70 to 120 pounds per acre. Japanese millet is a summer grass capable of filling this bare fallow period. It can grow up to four feet tall in 45 days. Because of the dense stand at high seeding rates, it works well as a great smother crop for weed control. It is also tolerant of wet soils and capable of producing 1200 pounds of dry biomass per acre. This biomass is easier to mow, manage, and incorporate than, say, a sorghum sudan grass, which tends to have a tougher leaf structure. When you terminate this cover crop, it's important to terminate it with both mowing and soil incorporation as it is capable of regrowth. It matures in 60 to 80 days, and you want to make sure to terminate this before seed maturity as it could become a weed in the following crop. Japanese millet can be drilled at 44 to 60 pounds per acre and broadcast at 60 to 120 pounds per acre. If you're interested to learn more about this topic, I encourage you to check out SARE Managing Cover Crops Profitably, as well as the other resources on this slide. These links will be in the YouTube video description below this video. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at the email address below.